profile and here's Joni. Uh, he got top eight at the St. Louis Park uh, OTS Championship with zombies. Yeah, man. Killing it. <laughs> All right, should I start? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Yeah. So, you know, my zombies pretty straightforward. Uh, run triple Shirinui Solitaire. Uh, you can turn around too. Oh, my bad. No, you're good. Yeah, there you go. Triple Shirinui Solitaire. And that just fetches uh, the uni zombies. Which is kind of your bread and butter, uh, you know. You send stuff from the deck to the grave, and you go off. Uh, some of the stuff that you send is glow bloom, which uh, is pretty good because uh, if it's sent to the grave, and you know, zombie worlds up, you get to summon uh, Valdrage. And so you also run double Banshee to get to get that. Uh, Zombie World up. Uh, also run two Mizukis. I, I like to run two. I don't like three because it gets cloggy. But I mean, you know, it's everyone's preferences. I uh, triple Ash Blossom because Ash Blossom is the best. Uh, and I run some Danger Engine. One Bigfoot. One Nessie, uh, one Mothman. I keep one Mothman because I don't want my uh, my opponent to uh, shuffle their you know their hands so. And then uh, two of Tucci and two of Jack. Uh, going to spell, I run the Super Poly because there's a lot of because Shadow meta, you know what I mean. So you gotta counter their meta with your own meta. Uh, triple zombie world because it's zombies. I play double instant fusion just for the extra body and uh, going second. It's also good for uh, true Dracos if they summon uh, Inspector Border. You have an out because yeah that that card that card kills this deck kind of so that's an out. I play triple twin twisters. Because Mystic Mind is always scary, and you always want an out for Mystic Mind. Uh, one of the Foolish Burial, and two Part of Desire. And then after that, you run the Triple Floodgate for the Zombie World Rivalry Lockout, which is, you know it always wins me quite a bit of games. So uh, going to the extra deck. We got the target for the Insta Fusion, and that is actual. Uh, Drinka, yeah, I can't read his name backwards. <laughs> and uh, Frida plant something, right? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna go with the the, the dark fusion one, uh, the two dark monsters, but I figured this one is better just because it does more on the field and. I have monsters as dark anyway, so I'll get a free negation uh, off of it instead of just having a monster on the field. Uh, my insta fusion targets are Theseus and one of the Thousand Eyes Restrict. I would run Millennium, but currently I don't have it. See uh, Theseus for the for the Danger Core, and then you can you know synchro with for Omega. Uh, I run one exceed, and that is just the abyss dweller, just because, or two exceeds, exiton and abyss dweller. If you have, you know, I, I, I had a, you know, I had a situation where I only had two cards left. Exiton was the best, you know. I blew up all his field, and then we stalled, and I, I, I took the game for that. So, exceed or link monsters. I run the double vampire sucker. Because it's awesome. Uh, I run one Link Karibo just to normal summon the Blood Bloom, and that way you can just you know special Bella Josh and then go into Vampire Suckers. Uh, I run an IP Masquerade, and then I usually do that with uh, uh, 
Nightmare Griffin if I want to negate their stuff and have my Baller Drush underneath it so mine can activate but theirs can't. Uh, and, you know, Sword. And I run it with uh, Unicorn. So let's say I IP on their turn, you know, summon Unicorn, send one back to the deck. And one Vendred uh, Savior. It, this card is legit. Uh, it's You make two, you go into battle phase, right? You attack with it. And then uh, it's cost to send from deck to graveyard, so they can't stop it. They can they can negate it, but it, it'll always go off since it's the cost. So that's just on my deck profile. Uh, for my side deck, I run triple dark rules no more. You know, it's to negate double evenly. I would run three, but I didn't have the third copy. Uh, two, my control just because it's nice uh, a lot of dino players today so i run triple nibiru uh, did not use it once today unfortunately <laughs> it never came out the right time but you know, it got me there so uh, double lancia for if, if i know they're a go second deck and i know they have uh, they have evenly match, you know, you, you, you just discard this, you can't evenly match for two. And then triple D barrier. I thought there was going to be more Shadows. There was not a single one today, so that, that came out of here. So it wasn't too good, but... Yeah, that's back that chroma. Um, that chroma. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, um, other than that, uh, was there any changes you'd like to make to the deck at all? Uh, you know, a couple, but I like maybe more floodgates, just because I like to play control instead of combo. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of gold second cards now, so it's kind of scary to put up a big board and just have it all gone. So, yeah, I, I keep it the same, maybe a little bit more floodgate. Uh, I used to run Mistake on it, but... Uh, that has changed though. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you, Joni, for the deck profile. And um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, leave a like, comment, don't subscribe. We should see you guys next video. Have a nice day.